Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last night, Topaz Labs updated Sharpen AI to version 2.2.0. Now, for those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you know that when Sharpen AI first came out, I wasn't a big fan of it. As a matter of fact, I did a video trashing it. Well, a few months ago, they did an update on it, and they really improved the Sharpen, Stabilize, and Focus algorithms and I was sold. I thought it was a pretty good application then, and I started incorporating it into my workflow. Well, last night, as I mentioned, they updated again, and they've further improved the Sharp and Stabilize and Focus algorithm, so it's really, really, really good now. And uh, they've added a new feature to it that I think most of us will welcome. Now, as far as the workspace itself, it's pretty much the same. On the right-hand side, you have the different modes, sharpen, stabilize, and focus. You have the sliders to uh, sharpen the image, do noise suppression, uh, add some grain if you want to make it, give it a film look, I guess. And sometimes adding grain makes it look a little sharper as well. But anyway, that improvement I'm talking about beside the algorithm improvement, uh, making these work better, is that in the past, uh, let's say you did an auto, like you, you don't know which mode to use. So you would just maybe do auto and it will say, okay, you stabilize mode. And here, we'll turn auto update preview on. And it's going to give us a preview of the stabilized uh, version of the image. And oh, you can see it actually did a great job. There's before and there's after, before, after. But sometimes you'll look at it and go, yeah, it's better, but I wonder what sharpen and focus did. So you would click through to sharpen and then you'd have to wait for the preview to update, or you'd have to manually press that button over there to do it. Then you'll wonder what focus did, and you click on that. Well, now you don't have to click through these three buttons. It actually has a screen where it will show you all three at the same time. It's up here in this view dropdown. Now, it has the single view, which I'm in now. It has a split view. Uh, this is you know, nothing different here. You could just slide the slider and see the before after of the image. Then it has a side by side view. So you have the before on the left and the after on the right. You can see what a great job it did. Now we'll just go to that drop down again. And this is what's new this comparison view. And when you do that, you'll see that you'll have the original image on the left, top left. Then you have the sharpen image here. And you can see that sharpen it didn't do such a great job. Stabilize, though, as it you know gave us in the auto function, stabilize, it thought, was the best choice, and it was. You could see that stabilize looks great, and there's focus there. So now this one uh, view will give you all three uh, algorithms, sharpen, stabilize, and focus all at once. And I think that's a welcome, welcome addition. Here, let's just um, get a different image, one of their images here. We'll get this one of the owl. And you'll see that it will then load it. It will do the previews for all three of the different um, modes. And you can see there's the original image. It was pretty blurry. There's sharpen. There's stabilize, which is better. And you can see the focus just is awesome. It's as though the photographer actually nailed focus perfectly uh, on the uh, owl compared to the original image where they actually missed focus uh, considerably. So there's that. And I want to just show you one more thing here. Uh, we'll use another one of their images, this one here. Uh, they also have um, this extra noise suppression and noise suppression. So, uh, you know, I'm a big fan, fan of uh, Topaz Labs Denoise. As a matter of fact, it's my favorite plugin of all plugins. And in my opinion, uh, it's still better if you really need to remove noise. But if you have an image that just has some noise in it and you don't want to spend the time opening it up into noise first to remove noise, then bringing it over to sharpen to sharpen it, you can do it here. So you can see we have a noise suppression slider. We have the three modes. Uh, here it looks like sharpen did the best job. And um, you'll see that there's this noise suppression slider and this little like toggle switch, extra noise suppression. So we'll turn that off and let it do its update. And you'll see that there's still a little noise in there. So if you encounter that, you could just take this and turn that on and just knock out that noise. You also could move the slider as well. So that, um, you know, for average images that just have average amounts of noise, 
you could then get rid of the noise in Sharpen and not worry about sending it over to Denoise. Um, but then again, you know, a lot of the wildlife photography I shoot, sometimes I'm at pretty high ISOs. I'll still use Denoise first because it's superior in noise reduction compared to Sharpen, which it's just kind of a, a bolt-on um, accessory to Sharpen. It's not meant to be uh, as good as Denoise. That's my opinion. So anyway, that's the new uh, features and the new uh, sharpening algorithms that are in Sharpen AI version 2.2.0. In the description below this video, I'll have links uh, to their website. They have fully working free trials. It's also usually on sale when they come out with new versions if you don't already own it. And I have a discount code as well that will save you a few dollars. I'll have all that listed in the description below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>